Tonix One is a great pedal. We've already made a live stream discovering it, but we had a huge problem with the software. Lucas is using it here mostly in the effects loop, mm -hmm. and with that, you want to hear your presets through your cap, through your power amp. We already figured out that it makes a slight difference if you use the Tonix One in the effects loop of the MT15 or in your angle, so mm -hmm. you need to adjust the EQ slightly. Also, yeah. with the cap that you're using, there are two vintage 30s in it, and over there's a cream back. It's a cream back, so you will want to adjust the EQ just a little bit. And setting up the tone is a real struggle with the software because currently, as it stands, the only option they offer you is you try it out with headphones or something like mm -hmm. this not with the pedal probably even um, yeah plugged in and then you download it you set it up you download it and then you try it on the pedal exactly then you put it from the software to your pedal and then you hook it up to your rig and yeah this is quite an annoying thing because mm -hmm. yeah figuring out what really works for you is yeah a real pain in the <clears throat> the issue that you're having when you're doing this is that this pedal acts as the input and the output but mm -hmm. when it does this it also lets the signal it gets in mm -hmm. out and processes it yeah. so what happens if you're having a amp model or a stomp box model on this pedal and you play your guitar the signal gets in mm -hmm. the signal gets into your computer Yep. from this pedal exactly and it also lets it through directly to your amp mm -hmm. and then when you have it as output you also have the signal that yeah that your pc hears and wants to give out to a speaker or something to a monitor also places it through the pedal into your power amp so in the worst case scenario you have two models or two tone models activated at the same time exactly so what happens if you're having something with gain you have your pedal that is going with the gain straight through mm -hmm. to your amp then it goes into your pc then the pc processes it yep. and the tonex software puts it into your selected amp model mm -hmm. that you want from this tone cloud i think they call it tone net or tone net yeah select that one will be processed there once more and then also goes to the output. This also can cause everything to stack. So mm -hmm. obviously you have uh, the gain stages stack, you two have reverbs. two reverbs, for example, stacked, yep. uh, compression if you have it yep. on, everything stacks and you get a total mess and you don't hear anything what you would hear normally. We even had some kind of delay effect mm -hmm. where the signal that is going through the pedal goes straight to the amp you hear that yeah that amp model the selected one and then with some minor delay you hear the signal that is coming through the pc mm -hmm. so you had like ta -ta! and yeah yeah we'll go it's into the <laughs> detail now how you can fix it where are the problems uh yeah a workaround for that. Let's see the audio settings. Um, the technology is ASIO and then here you can see the instrument input is Tonex 1, line 1, output device Tonex as well, uh, out 1 and out 2, and the buffer size depending on your hardware. Uh, the lower you set the buffer size, the lower the latency is, but in my case 256 works great. Okay, so the problem is when you're in this mode um, and you have the pedal hooked up to your computer and also to the amp, you immediately hear the model, the uh, yeah, the, the tone model that is selected here. And when you want to select one on the home screen or from the tone net, you usually have them both on at the same time, so they overlap, which is of course, a horrible mess, <laughs> sound-wise. And... 
this case, uh, let's select a higher gain angle. Yeah, you just get a lot of horrible feedback and it really doesn't work this way. And the workaround we found is that you go to the stomp mode and then you deactivate uh, whatever profile you have there, whatever model. So the pedal is on bypass mode, basically. And if you now go to the home screen or to the tone net, uh, yeah, you can hear it instantaneously and you have pretty much direct monitoring of the profile you're selecting. In this case, in this case, you have to pay attention. The amp is on, no compressor, no noise gate, but also the cap sim. And since we're running through a power amp, which is hooked up to a cap, we need to deactivate the cap because otherwise you have a cap model, a cap sim and an actual cap. So in this case, this on, uh, off, just the amp on. What's important to note is that the signal is not completely away from the guitar. You still have the dry signal that is bypassed through the pedal, also through the power amp. But usually you don't hear this much when you have an amp model selected over it and it works quite well this way to hear what you will hear mostly in the end. Yeah, and the volume is relatively low compared to a selected model here. So let's switch this amp on. Uh, everything is off, but I will turn on the reverb just for you so you can directly hear the difference. So stomp mode uh, switched off and you're hearing this Marshall style um, amp model. And if you let's take a cleaner one, now we need some reverb. And the tuner is on here as well, we don't need that one. So you can see, you can directly select whatever model. These are just the ones I downloaded from the ToneNet. Some pretty cool presets I found. Yeah, this is high gain. And if you if you pair one of the high gain models with, uh, and you have this switched on, you get a horrible noise. So it's definitely definitely not advisable to do so. And yeah, you can change the volume as well. If you want to. Increase the treble, for example. You can do so. So you can change the EQ, change the volume, uh, activate the reverb or the compressor and what or whatever. And you can go through all the models this way and you can hear it through your actual rig uh, and most importantly through your cap. Previously also these effects like the reverb also stacked so this is also an issue you have if you are not using this trick and Another thing if you don't get your latency down enough So your buffer size is not small enough. You will still notice it a little bit like a delay You will hear just like a slapback because the dry signal is going through the pedal directly to the amp that's not being processed through the PC and then going via the output again through the pedal to the amp. Your signal that you're having from the PC where you're setting up the preset is, is the delayed one. That one will come after the signal from the pedal. So we really hope that this video helps you to get the most out of this pedal. It's an amazing piece of gear and it has great sounds in it. And yeah, it's unfortunate that they make it a little bit difficult for you to try out the different models. But yeah, we hope that our, our tip works for you. It's a workaround. It's not perfect yeah. yet, but uh, the best we've found so far. Exactly. If you like the tip, please leave a comment down below. And if you have any questions or if anything was unclear, just let us know. And with that, thanks a lot for watching. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.